Good morning and happy Men's Health Month. It's June, so we're here today working out with the Congressional Men's Health Caucus. I'm Anna with Men's Health Network. We have our staff here going to be helping out with a lot of the workouts that we're doing today, led by Congressman Mullen. We have a great amount of congressional members that are here and a lot of staffers. Looking forward to having you join us. I was out there with you just now, Congressman. How did you like the workout? Did you see me about die? No, um, enjoyed it. It's a great way to start the morning, um, especially with, with the fellow members here in Congress. You know, we have this bipartisan workout group that we do every morning at 6.30. They end up becoming your best friends, but it makes your life a whole lot better. Uh, one thing when I give advice on staying healthy, I always say, do something that you enjoy doing. Um, a lot of people decide they want to go out and run a 5K every day or, or do these crazy exercises that their body's not used to and they probably be short-lived. So I always suggest start off doing something that you enjoy doing. If it's swimming, if it's walking, if it's hiking, biking, something that, and then you'll build off that. And the other side of it is what you put in your body. Those are the top two tips I do give. For me, it'll be make it a lifestyle. Everything you do is a lifestyle, so your body's kind of a reflection of how you live. So if you go ahead and make health and fitness is a lifestyle, plenty of water, plenty of rest. I think as Americans, we don't sleep or drink enough water enough because we're constantly trying to do something. And we have to kind of kick back and go back to mother nature, eat from the earth. That's one thing that's killing us a lot is man-made products. So we have to go back to what we come from. We come from the earth. So that's what we have to go to. And the mental side, slowing down not trying to do so much in a short period of time and it builds high anxiety and high stress um, up amongst our society. So for me, it's all about a lifestyle. You learn how to live a healthy, fit lifestyle, you don't have to think about too much else. Um, as you know, we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of Men's Health Week this month. What is something extra that you think people can do easily during this week to commemorate that 25 years? You know, go out and do 22 push-ups for veteran suicide awareness. That's a quick, easy thing. There are 22 veteran suicides a day, so there's just been, been this campaign for push-ups across the country. It's a good way to keep in shape, and it's a good reminder of a problem that we need to fix in this country. Um, at Men's Health Network, we do a lot to kind of decrease the disparity between men's health and men's health awareness. Um, we know women do a really good job about staying healthy and being mindful. What tips do you have for women to encourage the men in their lives to be more healthy? Uh, I'll tell you what I do with my husband is just invite him to come and work out with me. <laughs> Amazing. There's nothing like some healthy competition. What's your favorite part about seeing everybody out here? Uh, just getting people involved. I mean, it, we try to do it, you know, beginning of the summer. And, uh, and everybody has goals. They want to set goals. A lot of times they don't know how to get started. Out here it's just a matter of getting people started. And, uh, and then you see the camaraderie. I mean, people... We, we had Republicans and Democrats both yeah. out here. We had Republican members, Democrat members. We had Republican staff, Democrat staff. <laughs> but we get to show everybody we can get along. I mean, like I talk, Tulsi is is like a sister to me. We can disagree in politics, but I love the girl. Yeah. Um, same thing with the other guys that are out here. And, uh, and we can show that. Yeah. Uh, we can set our differences aside and say we got something in common. Yeah.